Welcome to the standpoint. I'm sure you know by now our theme for the year 2024 is the woman called into boldness. Yes, we need to be bold. We need to be outspoken. We need to speak up. We need to be confident. We need to go for the gold. Listen, anytime you hear the word or the abbreviation or the letters NLA, what comes to mind? Lottery, huh? Well, there's a lot more they do. There's a lot more they do. Today, we are privileged to have the boss of the NLA Good Courses Foundation here. We are going to share, she's going to educate us on what they do, how much they've helped society. If you look behind me on the other side, there's a pull up. You get to know and you get to see some of the videos as well. We'd like to say thank you to them. They supported the standpoint of 15 celebrations last year. And in a way of saying thank you, we want to also showcase to the world the good job that they are doing because they helped us, not just for the conference, but also to feed 150 pregnant women in the Gomua uh, Fete area in the central region. These are some of the things they do that some of us do not know about it. So it's going to be very revealing, very educative, and it will also give us an opportunity to go for more. The boss is looking at me. <laughs> Well, let me say thank you to tie dye Yakua for my silk tie and dye. My dress is by Dash Fashion. Thank you so much to her. My hair by Inshilo GH. She's on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you contact her and she'll sort you out nice. Thank you to the underscore global for my makeup. She's also on social media. You contact the telephone numbers are on the screens as well. So you can contact them. And then my beads and earrings by the one and only <laughs> Twinny Craft. So we take a break. When we come back, we meet the woman affectionately called Honorable Hajia Ama Frimpo representing the NLA Good Causes Foundation. We'll be back. The standpoint. The standpoint. <laughs> Welcome back to the standpoint. Again, I say thank you to Venom Mineral Water. Venom Mineral Water has Balanced pH levels has all the right minerals in it, and it's low in sodium and also engages in charitable projects like saving lives, changing lives, and sharing love wherever they go. So every bottle you buy, you are donating to a good cause. Thank you to Bigger Drinks for all that they do for us. We are so grateful to Auntie Vera and the family and the team. We are grateful. Mrs. Oforipoku and the family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep, cleaning services. Always make sure our environment is clean. We are grateful to juice time. 100% fruit juices from the farm to the factory to the bottle. But well, thank you so much. We are grateful to all of them for supporting us. Today we are talking about the NLA Good Causes Foundation. For years, in fact, for the past 60 years, we've all heard about and know about the National Lottery um, Authority, NLA. And um, just about two, three years ago, we heard about the Good Causes Foundation. What exactly do they do? What is it about? And I have the right person with me in the studio. We have some of the staff and beneficiaries also in the studio. So we are going to get educated. But first of all, welcome to the standpoint, Madam... Honorable <laughs> Hajia <laughs> Ama Frempo. Thank you. AKA Boss Lady. Oh. I added that at myself. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's a new one. Welcome to the standpoint. Thank you. You and look very mm -hmm. amazing. You look good. You I like the good. colors. Uh, I know. So it's your colors. It's so my green. colors. Yes, uh -huh. green. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, you went to a Brie Girls too. So. I did. Before uh -huh. so high. I more from my dear wife. Good to have you on the stand for you. Thank you so Thank much you for coming. Thank you so much for inviting us too. And we are grateful for supporting us last year for the standpoint of 15th anniversary. We are really grateful. The pregnant women are grateful. And all the charitable projects we got engaged in, 
we are grateful to you. You are most welcome. Now tell me about the foundation, Good Causes Foundation. What impact through games? Yeah. Um, so I'm sure the name is quite self-explanatory. Yes. So NLA Good Causes Foundation. Basically, it's the charitable arm of the National Lottery Authority. Mm -hmm. Now, um, a lot of people don't know this, but lottery is all about giving back to society. If you check the World Lottery Association, one of their main criteria for getting members is mm. that you have to have a good courses department. You okay. have to be able to show that you're giving back to society. Okay. So it's not like the most uh, important one, but it's become a convention because mm. they, they check all these things to be sure that you are doing some charity work and then you are also engaging in responsible gaming. Right. It's a very um, key fundamental um, uh, pillar in world lottery. And okay. um, the National Lottery Authority is a member of the WLA. So okay. automatically we are bound to be doing some good courses or to do good courses. Okay. And then when you come to Ghana as well, the Lottery Act, okay. um, it says in the Lottery Act, it mandates the National Lottery Authority. It says that there shall be a lotto or a lottery and its proceeds should go to um, the vulnerable, widows, the afflicted in society, orphans. So basically the two merge. Mm. So you are having the WLA ask or telling you that as part of your criteria, you should be doing good courses. And then your Lotto Act itself tells you or mandates you. So yeah. we are bound by two laws. Right. One, which is the um, Lotto Act, and then by convention from the um, WLA. So adding the two together, it gives you an idea of exactly what you're expected to do in the lottery space. So basically, that's where the Good Causes Foundation comes from. Um, before the Good Causes Foundation came into being, um, the National Lottery Authority already had um, a CSR um, wing, mm. but then it was called Special Projects. Okay. Yes, so it hasn't, it's not a new thing altogether for NLA. Okay. But then the Good Causes Foundation is the new, it's, you know, you, you, you improve as you go along. Right. And um, the lottery that feeds the good causes is called Caritas. Okay. Now, Caritas is um, basically aimed at corporate Ghana. So when corporate Ghana does raffles and draws and all that, they come to NLA. By law, we are mandated. We are, we are the sole um, uh, lottery body in Ghana okay. that has the mandate to do lotteries on behalf of corporate Ghana. Okay. So they have to come to us. Now mm. when they come... Okay, before you continue, that one too is new. For a long time, I think they were just doing it. It wasn't regulated. So there was a loophole in there. I'm not a lawyer. There was right. a loophole in there right. where the Gaming Commission could also um, run the um, raffles on behalf of corporate Ghana. Okay. But um, the legal department um, went through the law. It went to the AG's department. Um, the lawyers have, I think they did a review and then um, came to a conclusion. So now it's clear in Gaming Commission's Mission. mind what their mandate is and mm -hmm. what NLA. So once the, there was this loophole in the some corporate entities didn't know where to go, so they okay. ended up going to um, Gaming Commission. But okay. now it's been, um, the Caritas Lottery was relaunched. It was relaunched in October 2021 by the Honorable Chief of Staff. Okay. And then um, the President of the African Lottery Association, who is also the Director General of LONASI. LONASI is the Ivorian Lottery. So they okay. came together. We did a relaunch of Caritas, okay. to let corporate Ghana know that it, it might have been dormant, but right it's now, back on track. Right. And so far, so good. So once um, Caritas Lottery, when they do, and also remember that when you do um, your lotteries or your raffles with NLA, you know, it's a brand, 60 mm. years. Okay. So it gives people peace of mind. mind. They are know clear, they can trust Yes. It. So they know they can trust that if NLA is behind or is running this raffle for you, they are not going to go run away with your money or yeah. anything like yeah. that. So it's also, you know, gives them, you know, the general public that kind of peace of mind. Okay. Integrity is very critical Definitely. in everything you do. do. 
definitely. Yeah. So Caritas gives us um, the money. So our main funding comes from Caritas because that's what the law mandates. And then the board, the NLA board, um, they also, um, after paying um, statutory, you know, you have to pay into consolidated fund and all that. They seed some of the funds to good causes and we use that as well. Mm -hmm. So right now, basically Caritas feeds us and then the NLA, we don't, we are not getting any funding from, from anywhere, anywhere else. else. We are hoping that, you know, as we go along, um, our partner um, lottery associations mm -hmm. get to see what we are doing. And then, you know, some mm -hmm. of them outside have, you know, they are quite big. Right. They've been in the game for a long time. Okay. If you go to the UK, mm -hmm. You know the Olympic Stadium where yeah, 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 yeah it was built through proceeds from lottery. Yeah. The city of Miami. Lottery. So basically some of them, you know, have taken it a step a notch higher. And we are taking baby steps. And hopefully once we get into that space, then you know, we are going to be able to do much more than we are doing now. So in a nutshell, the Good Causes Foundation has been in existence since Fex October. 2021, but special projects of the NLA has, has been, always been yeah, there. It's always been there. It's always been there. Wow. So the foundation has been in existence since October 1st, 2021. Mm -hmm. And within two years, I see behind you um, so many projects that you seem to have embarked on. What informs your decision to target a specific project? Okay. So... Before I go into that, um, there's this saying that leadership is everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, our director general, I, I have to say, Good Causes Foundation is his baby. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, when he, he started working first August, and it was one of the first things that he set his mind up to. He started done. working first August 2021. 21, and then and he the first October. Yes. He's, yes. Within two months. Yes. Yes. So wow. within two months, he was clear in his mind what he wanted to do within the CSR space right. with regards to um, um, NLA. And um, anytime he speaks in a crowd, he always says that before he was appointed, he didn't know anything about lottery. So he learned on the job. So I think from when he got the appointment to when he started work, he had read so much about lottery and some of the things. And he realized that charity was a key key pillar in it so he started working on getting the foundation um, started so um if you are working in a space where your leader is very much passionate about it as well it makes it very seamless right it makes the work very easy right. because he was clear in his mind what he needed to be done and so um he he started working on it to get it, we mean it's it was still taking baby steps, but I can say hand on heart that we've done some work within the two years that we've been there because it was from scratch. Right. We had to get um, um, staff working in there. We had to get a constitution for it. We had to okay. do a strategic document. Okay. All everything. It was just a blank sheet. Okay. And we 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 are failing it as we go, go along. along. Right. So um because there's not much funding, we didn't want to spread ourselves so thin mm. as well. So we, we stuck to some key um, key thematic areas. So health definitely, mm. education, the arts and culture, okay. and then youth development. Okay. Now with the four youth four areas. Yes, four areas. areas okay. And um, with the youth development. We, we are kind of, it's like the youth is the umbrella, but we're, we are working within so many facets. Because when you take youth development, mm -hmm. it's so broad. It's broad. So um, for, for myself, like this, one of the first things that we, we looked at was lesser known sports. Mm. It was all about football. Yeah. It was all about football. Where there yeah. are other sports that were going on that people were not paying attention to, but people in that space were really doing well. Then we noticed that um, female football Whoa. at that time. Our, our very first um, group that got sponsorship from us was Hazaka's Ladies. Okay. Yeah. At that time, they'd won the um, um, league in Ghana. They went on to win Wafu. 
Okay. And then they went to the African Championships, Champions. okay. where they, they came second. Okay. So they were like our first, you know, group yeah. that we, we, we sponsored. And you, if you look at um, now, Ampem Dakwan ladies, this, yes. they are doing so well, well in that space. So it became like, um, not to be biased, but we're looking at the female Your side, side of, of lesser known sports yes, yeah. to see what we can do. We have Henrietta who is into Taekwondo okay. that we sponsored. Um, mm. She's going back next year for another international competition. So we looked at sports, but lesser known sports, sports as well. And then health is a broad area. Right. Um, education, mm. it factors in so many um, areas. And then the arts and culture. Okay. So festivals. Festivals mm. play a very key role. Okay. Before in, we move on to arts and culture, education. Yeah. Which area do you specifically um, engage? Is it scholarships for yes. students so, or provision of amenities? Um, two areas that we are looking at now is provision of scholarships. Okay. Um, looking at people, at tertiary. Um, once in a while, we have um, the junior level. Okay. Now, what we, we, we've done so far in that area is also that it's another area that people don't look at. So the first letter that I got coming, so most of our um, sponsorship, they are walk-ins. Okay. People walk in, in with their letters or they, they call and you tell them what the process is. I noticed two um, different letters. Now, both of them had kids with special needs okay. in, in like school. school. And they highlighted their challenges. You know, one lady said even getting transport to school in the morning because when they sit in public transport, awareness. So a mm. lot of people tend to make mm. noise or oh, the child is being disruptive and all that. So she needed some help to be able to get the child to school. So we looked at that as something that we could do to make an impact. Like we said, we are looking at making impact Act. through games. So, right. you know, it's one of those things. Then education, it's mostly tertiary. Mm mostly tertiary, tertiary. Okay. The, the, you know, people. Okay. And we don't, um, and one other thing too is most foundations are able to plan very well and structure and say, I'm doing maybe this for this year. A lot of people will come in and tell you, oh, lot of scars, they say mm. they be an yes. ever, you know, kind of thing. So um, we have our budget, we plan for the year. But we also make room for, for special, special cases. cases yeah. um, 2023, one of the things that I've also noticed is people with kidney issues. Issues. Hmm. Uh, it is yeah. such an eye-opener. It's been a space where um, working in, in um, NLA Good Causes Foundation, I find that it is heartbreaking. And the ages are always 32, 34, you know. Some of them be, we become attached to them because they, they keep you posted Said, and all yeah. that. And um, uh, my team here who know, we've had a, a few unfortunate um, incidents, okay. but we have success stories too. Right. So when it comes to health, that is yeah. one of the areas. So the, the, the kidney, you pay for their treatment? Yes. Their dialysis um, some and people that. would come in. Most of them are on the waiting list. Yes, okay. So you always find that they are looking for funding to go for their dialysis. Yes, yes, yeah. And then you have some that would come in that are able to gather some money. They need a little more to be able to travel and have their treatment and all that. So we take all these things into consideration. Of course, you have the ad ad one or two who would... One day I was in the office and I was told to come downstairs. And when I got there, there was a taxi with a lady inside, sick... And, you know, the family had brought her in, you know, like, yeah. while we are here, what do you do? Wow. And um, I, and you know, it's, a, it's public funds. You just yeah. don't get up and it goes through a whole, whole process. process yeah. So I had to go to the director general and I said to him, DG, we did a chair with you, BB. And he was like, Madam Coordinator, Assemble and Abba. So I told him and he was like, okay, let's see, take this, give it to them. Let them go to the hospital and then we fast track. Wherever. So you, you, this is not an everyday occurrence, occurrence but yeah. you have them. You also have walk-ins. Someone comes in and they tell you, well, I'm here. I've been eating. Um, I don't have money to go back home. What do you do? So, you know, you have them. But um, we try our best. So education, tertiary, we do our very best in there. Yeah. Um, health, um, okay. as, um, uh, um, when it comes to the health, health area, area as well, 
we support in paying bills, and then we donate medical equipment, equipment. to okay. so um, the phototherapy hmm. machine, and okay. then um, KSK's um, incubator. Uh, yes, 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 we, we support that's Kwame Sefakani. Sefakani, yeah, and then um, we've been to Tamale Teaching Hospital where we had a little baby, Spina Bifida. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So yeah. baby Selena, so she's so doing well. Um, we are still in contact. And then one that is really, really um, dear to my heart. So it's in Wa. And we traveled there. We went to Wa in Jirapa. So there's this gentleman called uh, Mr. Bahas. Okay. Now, Mr. Bahas has, um, I think it's, it's a calling. He only deals with mental health patients. So when you go to Upper West, he's there. Even the government agency, the, the mental health, when they have issues, they direct these people to go and totally. see Mr. Bahas. Mr. Bahas doesn't have any money. It's just through philanthropy from people. What he set up his mind to do is that on any given day in that area, the people with mental health issues should have at least one hot meal. Wow. Every day. And he knows where everyone is. Yes. So when he goes there and they are not there, he goes round, does it, and then comes back to make sure. If he can't find them, he goes, he comes looking for, looking them. for them to make sure they wow. get their food. So that's one of the things. And then twice a week, he gets an aboboya, picks them, and takes them to a dam. And then he makes sure they are all washed. He looks after them, changes their clothing. If it's torn, he throws it away, gets new ones for them to wear, and everything. So that's, wow. that's his thing. And then he washes them, barbers them, you know. He has volunteers too. Wow. So I saw it in the Daily Graphic. It was something that I was reading during it. So we paid him. We went there to see him. And then one of the chiefs there has given him a huge parcel of land, which he's hoping to, to build develop, yeah. a place where he calls it a safe haven, mm -hmm. where even if they decide to roam, in the day, in the night, they come, they come somewhere to sleep. Okay. Um, he's still looking for funding. So, um, But what we decided to do was that the dam, that's where the town people fetch water. And even if someone has a mental health issue, there's still dignity. So we supported him to construct two wash, you know, a ladies' one and a men's one, a temporary one. He has a dugout there so that at least they don't need to go to the dam. To the dam. They come in there, he washes them and all that. So um, that's one of the people wow. that we work with. Yeah, I there. remember years ago in this very studio, you know, I, I told you I was a member, a board member for the Federation for the Blind. And um, there was a lady who was seated, I remember here, and, and she, she made a statement that has become a mantra for me. She said, disability is an open-ended club. Anybody, anybody can be a member at any, any time. time, any time, any time. So I can definitely understand where you are coming from. While well, you are watching the standpoint, say thank you once again to tie dye Yekwa for my silk tie and dye. My dress is by Dash Fashions. Thank you so much to her. Her by Inshilo GH and makeup by at the underscore global and beat and earring. <laughs> now I can boldly show my earring. <laughs> By Twinny Crafts. We take a break when we come back. We we'll look at what they are doing in the area of uh, culture and festivals. And then um, the last CSR. We'll be back. Welcome back to The Standpoint. Again, I say thank you to Juice Time 100% Fruit Juices, House of Food, and to Vera and the team. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mrs. Sofori Poko and the family, we are grateful to you. Yep, cleaning services, make sure our environment is clean all the time. Phoenix Decor did our decor for us. We are grateful to them. Al Cuisine, Chef Atre, thank you. God bless you. And of course, to... Vena mineral water and abigo drinks. 
I have with me in the studio the coordinator, national coordinator for NLA Good Causes Foundation. And we've been having an interesting discussion, you know. Uh, you can't help but to be drawn into um, what she's talking about, what the foundation has been doing so far, the lives they are touching, the, the, the love they are spreading across uh, the nation. And we've talked about education, we've talked about health. Now we move on to the third one, which is the... Awesome. Art and culture. Um, no, you leave no one in any doubt that you love tradition and culture. Mm -hmm. If you look at your bracelets, mm -hmm. your th everything, I mean, there are Edinburgh symbols Both, in there, yeah. there are beads in there. And um, without our culture, we, are, we don't have any story to tell. Exactly. All the folklore, all the history, everything. We need to guard them. And I'm really into that. I, mm. I love that space a lot. Mm. So um, arts and culture is one of our main pillars. Um, for every area, every distinct area in Ghana, they have something that's unique it's to them. Yeah. So when you mention an area, somebody can tell you something unique about them. Um, so we, 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 we also work in that area as mm. well. Um, another thing that I, I've realized as I go along is that when we say arts and culture, we are only sticking to festivals. Festivals, yeah. Yeah. There's another side that we are not looking at. So creatives. Um, on, I think last week at a program, I met George Quay. Yeah, yes, yes. And um, he said, oh, last year, well, uh, last year we came to see you and you didn't help us with our place and all that. And so um, this year we are hoping that uh, you come in. Mm -hmm and supporters support and i look at his reviews so next week i'm making a conscious effort to go and see the gods are not to be blamed yeah because it's coming back by back. popular request yes so that's another thing that you know mm. if you, you, you we we look at because it's also part of the arts yeah. and culture yeah but for now we are doing festivals the festivals yes yeah, yeah. Hogbe, yeah. um fetu fetu um yeah. last um, one that we did, we, um, Akwemu. Akwemu I, yeah. I am biased towards Akwemu, <laughs> so I'm not an Akwemu, but I, for every time there's um, Akwesi Day, yeah. uh, because the views there are fantastic. Yeah. It's just serene. Yeah. The moment you enter, you feel like you've left all your troubles, uh, troubles behind. behind, and then you go there. And, um, and it's the same in Edumasa. You've been there before. I have been there before. I know. I was going to there. come to Edumasa oh, okay, because okay, okay. Edumasa, I jumped the gun. Yes, okay. the, the Republic. The Little so Republic. The Little yes. Republic. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we were there. Yeah. Um, the, the Queen Mother. The Queen Mother has yeah. um, a foundation. Mm. And it's and another yes, thing. Yes, break it too, break yeah. it. It's another good thing with so many of the Queen Mothers now. Right. They're really doing a lot exactly. to better the lives of their, their people. people. Um, another queen mother that we work with um, or we've worked with is Joe Bohema. Okay. She also has um, a foundation. Okay. And, she, and one of the things that she does, because a lot of the foundations only concentrate on giving the ladies skills. Right. But she goes to do bookkeeping. She trains them. So, Usika Semno, Utmi, Bua Konta, you know yeah. how to do it, you know, because... That's, Some, that's awesome. I mean, most of us, when uh, the, our grandmothers, when they did the, you know, and now what on them do, and then they just, but they, they had it in their head. You could never cheat no, them. No, 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 you could not. I, I remember mom, and she used, she would come home and mm. say, nah, then I guess, oh, and the mom is your daughter, mm. your way, she, was, mm. she was always able to do that because she was good. <laughs> but when, my mom, you know, Tom Bruno, you know, Monkey Simna, this is canoba, no, do you want to say, one person. So she always knew how to do it. But I was cumbersome, but I worked for them. them yeah. But now there are so many ways. So right. um Jobo Hima, she trains them in bookkeeping as yeah. well, so yeah. that they are able to do it. But mm. she also has a foundation that yeah. um yeah. we work with. And and let me say say thank before you come to do it, let me say thank you on behalf of Nana Frakuma. You know the the uh, the, the second. You the, know your your mom. Graduation, my mom, yes. my mom, my your sweet mom. mom. Yeah. You know the graduation for her. Uh, her uh, the um the school. The school. Yes. It so, was beautiful, yeah. and she's really grateful. Her sixtieth anniversary is coming anyway. Yes. You, uh, yeah, baby. Oh, mm. Pressure. Pressure. So, Nana you know, they, they do um Nana Sawa bracket too. Two. Yeah. yeah. They did. I have. I should have brought them. 
I was bringing it, and I forgot the yeah. fascinator that I got from, from them. them. Okay. So, you know, you train them. Yeah. But it all, it's not just training them. Mm -hmm. When they finish their training, you need to be able to give them a starter kit, yeah. something to set them up as up, well. So yeah. that's one of the things. Because it's all well and good that you take a box mm -hmm. and say, I've trained 200 people. Yeah. What are they doing afterwards? Are they making use of the training? Is right. it making an impact on them? I mean, if you train a lady... It's going to go ripple effect. Yeah, we all know what we what can do, we do. Yeah, and what we do. Yeah. So it's it's one of those things. So it's all part of the um that that one comes into youth and community development. Okay, which um we call uh, we have something that we call DG's discretionary projects as well. Okay, so sometimes it will not be part uh, of the core mandate, but then we we add it because it's also making an impact okay. on you know on lives. Um, festivals. La, uh, we we've been to Ancos. Mm, mm, we went to, Nekos, yeah. Yes, we went to Takradi. Takradi. Yes. <laughs> and we've been to Kwewu Kwewu. Yeah. What we try to do is that we incorporate having our um, draws as well, mm. so that people get to know. Because there's a myth around it that oh, there's a people send you WhatsApp messages. Is, yeah. Um, join this um page yeah. and bring money for this so it's also another way that we educate people that we don't have numbers yes. if anyone calls you or tells you i've had i have a friend who calls me sister stella because somebody used my cloned my page <laughs> and i'll spell her something you know and then they, they they see that you work there so they put it there to give their thing a legitimate yeah. if you do that you end up losing your own money yeah. unfortunately when you come back to us we can only be sympathetic Pathetic. and say, like, yeah. well, but then it hasn't come to NLA or no NLA member of staff does that. If any NLA member of staff is caught doing that, summarily dismissal plus prosecution. So no wow. one would even dare go yeah. and give someone numbers. Numbers that we don't even have in the first place. Right. So that's the thing. So it's also a way when we do the community draws at the festivals, we educate them. We let people in the society know that this is not us. This is what we have. If you want to stick, go to an NLA um, accredited agent. Yes, okay. They have the POS. You can play on those ones. You know that when you win, you are getting your money from the National Lottery okay. Authority. Okay. So it's um, a multi-pronged one. When we go to the festivals, we do the draw there. We entertain. Um, we... Um, support the chiefs and you know when it comes to festivals there's a lot of people coming in so oh call yeah. him you have yeah so we, we need do to take something yes yeah. we do what we have to we do our mamre there too yeah. and then you know we entertain you have um there's music there's excitement there's the draw the community by all means somebody will win there and you mm. can see that so it's all part of getting people to know that NLA is not just about taking your money and then you play and you play. Somebody says, well, if I play, I don't win. What do you do? Then mm. we tell them, this is what no, we've we done. Do. Yeah. This is how we, we use some of the money. Okay. Um, 2023, we did two major things as part of our programs. We mm. decide, because for everywhere we go, even if we are not doing, and, and you go there, two main things that they ask you, you need mm -hmm. and then a, a toilet facility. facility. Okay. So we decided that we are going to go um, do quite a substantial amount of boreholes in communities across okay. the country. Okay. Um, by end of the year, we'd get to know, people would get to know how many we've been able to dig out okay. or you know, do for um, communities. Um, we're looking about 60. Okay. And then toilet facilities across the country. Yeah, across the country because okay. lottery is played everywhere, everywhere. in Ghana. So okay. you cannot, you know, um, people would say, "Oh, I think we only hear of you in the south. Yes, we don't yeah. hear. Do you go here?" And then um, last time I was telling someone, if you go to such a from place, mm. hey, how you I'm saying, you know, But you people live there. Yeah. People stick lot, so they don't say because I live in X or so Y. I don't. When you go to Pando, you find when you go to Aplao, Zabzugu, Garu. Yeah, for, uh, you know, man can see, you know, you can get something or mm. somebody that has said, I've 
received some little help yeah. from the NLA Blue Never Crosses forget. Foundation. Now, so, on that note, you have some beneficiaries I in the do. audience, yeah, right? I do. Um, do you mind if we speak to them? By to all means. I, I'm auntie. Many, auntie, okay. Uh, auntie is here. Auntie is um, here. Yeah. Patra is from saying? Patra is from Hilda. Hilda. Patra. Okay. Now, who is your father? Who is your father? Patra is from Kolebu. Okay. Now I benefited from good courses. And now I'm here, my can in a young papa. Pancha, young papa. Young papa, didn't she? Okay. Me, I'm a fair Fine, in care, in sunny bang, mammy, he. Okay. Yeah, in container, sunny. Okay. Nimi Tony, Massa, Nimachuni, and quality in bar. I may hear me a wa wa too. Namak, I make enough with you, Nimquame, he. Can you be fair, ready, and match him, Lele? Nini be fair, ready, no. I'm a charming nimba. Me, I'm a care. Check you won't be. No drum on it, the banger. I'm a miscanker, sir, contain and be an eno. Be an image on care, that's a poba. Conning cabacho. Near bedding to me a contena, you a bag game me. Okay, I'm going. Okay, 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 Okay. Well, me da me she wa. Come on, look by me boss. Say fair, me da le she. Okay. Ida ke ele me a wa wa too. Well, me da me she. Who else has benefited? Okay, in patcha your friend minister in anati. Me ban ya accident war independence. Eno ya jaw jaw fracture. Na me ban car war NLA. Say me ban ya jaw fracture. Na or the rich hospital, and I'm supposed to pay thousand seven. Inti me di be two amu eni mano. Seventeen thousand. Seventeen. Eh, one seventy million. Na me di be two amu eni. Eno mu boa me. Em ma ye ye. Em ma ano. Wow. Into boa me se se ano hundu se. Ba chon ano ye. Na ka onto me di di onto me rea di. Ba through them. Me ba nto me di di onto me. Wow. Okay. Who call you? Okay. Who no? Eh, na wundi mobi na kwa na who call keke? Mpacho, miye juma wo hono as a cleaner. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Inti she say no. I wanted to establish say it's it's not like you need to know somebody and go through some before. No, please. Anybody can walk in. Yes. No. You know. Yes, yeah, she walked in. Yeah. Okay. Without knowing anybody, and even being a cleaner, that does not guarantee that you'll be in some institutions. Yes, you, know, you yes. can't. They will tell oh, you that no. So, yeah. One other thing too is um, outside gentility, home cry. <laughs> I know, dear. I know, so, right? And obiye hiyamwa. Exactly. Obiye hiyamwa. So if you set up um, a foundation or a, a department to help needy people. Inside too, you there have people need, yeah. that need help. Yeah. So we we don't do outside and kwan. We have um what we call LMCs. They are local marketing companies. Right. Almost some of them would write and say, "I am a local marketing um agent for you. I need money to support health. This this. You have staff. So is apart from doing outside as well, we look inside, inside. too. Because a bear, I said, Otiho, we ye, Juma. Now, when who said, Yeah, be a bear, yeah, boy, will be uh, yam, one now, ba. You know, now, yeah, catch us, eh, yeah, they quite bunting, qua. So, one other thing to that there is that, um, we, you have staff themselves who benefit. And then, maybe a staff be near Antiapo, and I need near ba, eh, yare. Now, they are there, but then you are like, eh, Nasa, we ye, Juma, or G paint, call any man, I say, yen to me, wow, no. We, we we treat each case on its merit. Mm. It doesn't have to be said ye nim ninti fawas kwa na se say. Um the only thing is that a ba, a ko um director general, you know, there's a post na ko. Sometimes obi wa honum and I do yen is obey drew ya pen na sika da honum. And I into kasa we ni ska honuma eh, sika be be na more geno, unti me mwa me, say ni say ni say. But uh, yeah, as long as it's a public service, uh, it's yeah. public funds. It's audited. 
It's all yeah. yes, it's all dated. Mm. Afibia, we were baby Jina Honum, no be sase mm -hmm. as to see Cassay, no more some more de Coyer, yeah, then a, a dear and a tre. Yeah, so that's where the audit department comes in. And we have another thing to that I, I I have to say. Yeah, but other foundations, the other okay. foundations that come in that mm. also need support. Yeah. Um, uh, we we collaborate with them, we've okay. done with them. Um, uh, Dr. Richie's Riafia Day. Yes, yes. Breast, Breast, Care, Breast Care International. Breast Care International. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I call him. Gloria. Gloria is one of my team. Mm. We joined to be part of it. Um, mm. Ask Ghana. No more. Yeah, they donated um, uh, computers. It was mm. Gomua West. Okay. Yeah, call it. So every one of the programs, we have Afua Impact Foundation. A young nurse. One day she just walked in. Yohan Obaye. Also, you or your nurse, but at an akuma so so person or your near my boy. Um, so we've done uh breast care screening, mm. yeah, yeah. Um, a wutu senior, okay, yeah, koho, aqua, ako ye be wo honum. Um, western north, dine fi meeting. Mm. So you know, baby, a kaka kaka kaka, yeah, new mobile call, but you um, give the anti foundation, bring a light to lives, mm. but you're a teacher, a shoe. We need shoes for rural communities. I'm going to you. That we would have been fun. Enti, ya ni kesi yesa. Right, but, but you do kakra, your best. We do our best. We do our best here mm -hmm. and there. Okay. Um, the debate to me a ye. Yeah. Ebi wa hano ma ebi ano de aba na sikane son ye ni 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 na ma. Enti ebi to me a kaso ye be ni a kakra e de aboa. You know that, and then Amazing. community yeah. development Mate. is another area. Um, we are very careful about that one too because one of the first advices somebody who had been in this space for a long time told me said, "Don't assume because you go there, and you don't see uh, that fetching water the, from the stream. Don't think said that's, that's what, what that, they want. What they want always ensure that what you talk to them." And get find them out what did it involved. Yeah. yeah. Because you go to certain communities and there's about four mechanized boreholes, but no one fetches water, water from me. them. Yeah. Because you didn't speak to them. That mm. might not be their immediate need. Yeah. So it's one of the things that we do. We do needs assessments. Yeah. It's really been worth being there. And it's been worth talking to you. This is, I mean, I'm sure anybody watching will be enlightened, you know, and this is amazing the work you are doing and um, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Um, it's beautiful to see the beneficiaries yes. here share the experiences. And then you know. the team in the audience, we have, we get the staff involved. So they yeah. are the ambassadors. Okay. So for every not just in Accra, but for every region, Jen. we have a good courses ambassador. ambassador. Okay. We have gentlemen in Bawe. We told them, say, it's purely the ladies. The so, ladies affair. Yes. You can see that. But some gentlemen is, yes, Danny is corporate affairs. So okay. He, uh, so, but wow. um, I have my ambassadors here. Okay. I see um, Lady Grace, yeah. uh -huh, <laughs> and my team, my staff. Um, okay. Miss Gloria is here. Um, Miss Beatrice, mm -hmm. um, Tess, please. But NLA staff are also, also very much, um, involved. much involved in it, you know. So okay. they, they understand that um, CSR is a key component of every NLA. organization. Um, thank you for having us. Thank you for coming. Let me clap, let me clap for yourself. But, you know, that's amazing, amazing work you 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 do. Um, it can be draining. I can imagine. You know, I mean, it can be, uh, you know, tiring sometimes. Um, but the love and passion yes, keeps you going. It does. You know, it's 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 really good to know what you're doing, and I believe that more people will need your help. And we pray that you get the finances and the support that you need. Um, to continue doing this, Once we you know, have that, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Be yeah. Be because it's interesting the areas and how specific you are, you know, specific you are when it comes to, you know, supporting people from across the country. The one that will stick with me, I mean, for the rest of my life is the one you shared, which seemed to be 
on your heart, your passion as well. Um, the woman, the the man in and the in, in wa, wa, has, ba, yes, yeah, Baha what has, he does, I mean, you know, yes, just I, amazing. I I asked him, you know, when we got there, I mm. asked him. So two things that struck me when we got there, um, the chiefs, mm. um, the day we went, he said. NLA Good Causes Foundation was the very first that had actually come to their aid because we took, he told me what he did. So we yeah. took a little of everything, buckets, yeah. shaving, you know, food and everything. And I thought it was just going to be us getting mm -hmm. there. When we got there, there was a whole... Deva. <laughs> and, you know, he was so... And I asked him, why this particular area? And his mm. wife was like, you need to find out because you'll be in bed 2 a.m., there'll be a knock. And they'll say somebody has a crisis and they leave them there. And two instructive things. When we got there, there were two people with mental health challenges who were pregnant. Two ladies. And um, I asked him, have they been able to say who got them pregnant? And he was like, ah, madam, what do you think? One was with the mom. And um, so they, in, I was asking the interpreter, you know, and the woman said to me, like in the language, she told, they told me, she suspects somebody. Yeah. She has she has a mind on this person. Because any time around the house, the guy is always snooping and, you know, you checking. Check it. But the girl has never said anything. anything. She's never said anything. But she's, she's hoping that when she puts to bed, she the, probably say something or there'll be a resemblance or something. <laughs> so that's all she's waiting, waiting for. for. So, you know, but he's wow. very patient with them. It has to be a calling. It has to be a calling. Yeah, I, I always believe to be that to be in a certain space. Another one that's made an impact. Have you been to that? You, uh, you have. Accra Psychiatric Hospital. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You know, they have... Um, oh, I've forgotten the name of the... They have a, a unit mm. that they have where they will tell you that they will come to work in the morning what? and somebody has left... A child or an adult yeah. there. We went to Ankafo and we, we met the, the, they said that somebody had been there for 40 years. No family member had come to ask of them. They have some that they've had to bury themselves. They, I mean, you just drop them and they, the, they the family, to yes. Vanish. They, they vanish. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you for bringing the love back. Thank We're you trying. for making an impact. And thank you for being passionate about what you do. Congratulations. 15 years. Yes. Wow. 15 years, 15 of, the years of the standpoint. Yes. God bless you. Amen. You've touched a lot of lives too. Amen. You've made an impact in people's lives. I was just in your office and looking at all the plaques. <laughs> and I was like, yes. <laughs> wow, Bob. <brah>. Wow, Bob. <laughs> so congratulations thank to you, you as well. And um, thank you. 20, 25, 30, the standpoint. Should yeah. live forever. Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 We'll I'll you. be back with a bit of me. <laughs> mm. In 2012, we only tested 38% of suspected malaria cases. Um, in 2022, we tested almost 100%. That's mm. around 97%. 100%. So we have scaled up interventions and we are seeing the impact. Currently, in our health facilities, we are recording around 150 deaths due to malaria. And this is coming down from the years where we were recording thousands. Mm -hmm. We've also seen a reduction in the malaria parasite prevalence in children. So if you yeah. take children in households, if you take 100, around 2011, you get about 28 of them being positive. The last survey, we are seeing about nine. Mm -hmm. So we see that malaria burden is coming down. Mm -hmm. um, the interventions are being scaled up. And we can't continue to do things the same way. If we look at countries that they eliminated malaria, it was mainly a shift in focus. Mm -hmm. Harnessing of resources, targeting the limited resources that we have, community empowerment, political will. So we thought that after all the years of progress, we had reached a point where we should change the way we do things. Um, even if we are not going to do the whole country elimination at a go, we are talking about eliminating gradually mm. so that eventually the country will be free of malaria.
Love, love, L O V E. Love, 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 perfect. Did you go to Sunday school? I think as children, every religion that we practice in Ghana talks about, and across the world, if I dare say, talks about love. Love for neighbor, love for one another, self love, reaching out, saving lives, changing lives making an impact you see as a human being making an impact means a lot to me because i grew up on that i was socialized raised to believe that it's important to always have compassion to have empathy towards another sometimes even at your own discomfort but of course make sure that you also place yourself first sometimes. Self-love is not selfish love. But the world has become very selfish and caring. Just me, myself, and I. Me, my child, my husband, my wife, and that's it. But we don't develop a society like that. We don't grow a society like that. Because no matter how well resourced, how the best you give to yourself, your spouse, your children, they will go out. You will go out and live in a society. You will work with people. You will go to school with people. You go to church. You will need somebody. Reach out and always touch somebody's life. 2024, make it a point to show love. 2024, tell yourself that you'll be a better person. You'll be a caring person. You'll be a compassionate person. You'll be that one who will look out for another person. The less privilege will always be with us, but it's up to you and I to use what we have. I am not a rich person. I wish I were, but I know God has given me a platform, a voice to be able to raise funds and support to help people. Sometimes, the money I raise, the resources I raise for other people, I don't have it. I, don't, I, I, I need it. But, they say, When you do God's business, he takes care of yours as well. Try that and see. I'm a testimony of that. Helping other people's children. He gave me my own at the right time. What is it that you're looking for? What are you searching desperately? Put God to test. And let's see what, what happens. I'm a woman with super crazy faith in God. These days my faith is stubborn, shakable. It doesn't mean I don't cry. It doesn't mean I don't have fears. It doesn't mean I don't have, you know, challenges. It only means I trust God to see me through it. Try him. Thanks for watching. See you same time next week. Bye for now.